Hello, this is Mike of Nearly Enough Dice. This is the Kerbal Space Program. Um, right, what, what we have here is a prototype for maybe getting a rover onto EVE in a nose cone. My original plan was to <clears throat> do something along the lines of have this as a structure have this whole thing land, although I haven't quite worked out how to get the parachutes attached. Um, this is called. This has turned out to not work. Uh, my original plan involved docking ports, right? Little docking ports. But I don't know whether, basically, I would I would release the docking port and then the rover wouldn't go anywhere. And I don't know whether that's because. The docking port was once you once you undock the docking port, then exerts a magnetic force. Um, just gonna quickly mess with the staging. Specifically, I'm gonna not have the parachutes deploy. Anyway, so it wouldn't it wouldn't go off the thing. It would it would release, but it wouldn't go off the thing. I don't know whether it's because um, the docking port was exerting too much force, or whether you just can't get any traction on the. Um, on on the base of the the uh, fairing, right? This bit here. So my current up to this point, my current thing has been having a bit, just a, a bit of a of a, a gap here. So the wheels aren't actually touching this fairing, and then um, you know, separate on them away. But that doesn't actually work. There is a... I think this might be uh, an issue with this. I think that... I wonder if the top of this isn't actually properly um, an object in the way I, the way that it doesn't become a full sort of thing. As, as you can see, but I think that's sunk into it, for example. Which means that those wheels don't have anything to grab onto. They don't have anything to, to actually to wheel off and the um, they're not, it's not getting blown off by the separatron it's colliding with this and then things are going wrong and then the physics goes and, and chucks it off which is obviously not what we want no, that's not what I want what do I, want? I want revert flight revert launch so I've got a new plan Plan may be too strong a word. And we are going to test this with hyperedit. Uh, make sure that we're out. Oh, yeah, we're out. We're out. Uh, it's already taking you out, Kevin. So let's have an orbit of 75,000. That's not 75,000. Boop. All right, so now I will graphically right, so I'm going to up the eccentricity, lower the periapsis. Oh, no, you can't. Um, yeah. Err, uh, how am I going to do this? I'm going to do this by playing with a semi-major axis, I think. Uh, because with the eccentricity, right? Yeah. Uh, what I want to do is I want to bring this my periapsis below atmosphere to about thirty odd. Um, so I reckon. Right, what's my semi-major axis? So that's units. Tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands. All right, let's let's try this. Uh, no, okay. Now. 
there was a, a thing with um, uh, Bumper Ratchet, with the guy, one of the guys who does want and does co coers, doing a stream where setting up landings is uh, kind of exactly what you want to do. You want you want to set up things where um, your your apple your periapsis is very low, so that you will. Um, you know, crash into the ground in in the right way. Oh wait, have I oh have I been an idiot? Yeah, okay, I've been an idiot. Uh, I needed to hit apply, so okay. There we go, that's what we want. That's what we want. Now where am I? And which way am I going? Um so go to graphical and argument to Periapsis. That's not what I want. Well, it is kind of actually. Uh, I want to make sure the argument to per a periapsis is such that the I'm coming down in the daytime. There we go. What I wanted was mean anomaly. Can I hybrid it in non map mode? Okay. So basically I'm testing the idea that I'd be able to um, come in from orbit. So all, all of that fiddling about was just to get myself into something resembling an orbit. Um, cannot run experiment while stowed, which makes sense actually. Now, I don't, in fact, it turns out, have any reaction wheels on this thing. That was a mistake. I may have, that's a thing I may have to think about. Um, the possibility is that it, the aerodynamics, because I, I have to imagine I'm going into Eve's atmosphere. I'm, I'm, I'm using Kerbin's uh, kind of to practice with. But I'm hoping that the, the way the center of mass works and the way the aerodynamics works and the way that um, heat shields work is that this will basically point me the right way. Um, or I might just tumble. No. So this is a good test, actually. But the, the thinking is that I go through re-entry with the fairing on and the heat shield on. Okay, I'm definitely gonna. It looks like I'm definitely gonna have to do something to ensure that. What am I doing? I can't do anything. Shut up, you. I'm gonna definitely want to do something. Maybe put some reaction wheels on this thing, on the on the rover, or on the, or just on this. On the fairing, maybe. Other possibilities being that I ensure that it's pointing the right way before I drop it into orbit. So basically I, I would point it the right way and then I would separate from it whatever craft I'm using. Um, it is kind of vaguely pointing the right way, but um, I, would, I would prefer it if it was always pointing the right way. Um, it's clearly wanting, it's clearly got a preference for having the heat shield downwards, which is good. I like that. It's good. I'm to on the SAS just to see if they'll do anything, but I don't think I've got any torque capacity to do anything. No. Alright, so this is not the most aerodynamically stable thing. It is kind of trying to settle down the right way. I'm losing ablator.
going through all the fire at the moment. And I could have come up with a better, I mean, I just I just got a trajectory that was went boom, right into the ground. Whereas I could have done something much more gentle. It's pretty, it is gradually settling into a retrograde configuration. Having a look at the heat. Convection flux is quite high, radiation flux is negative. I'm, I'm actually not quite sure what that means. I guess that some of it, it's losing heat in some, it's radiating heat out, I guess. Uh, critical part heat shield, which is nowhere near its actual critical temperature. Uh, quarter of the way through the skin temperature. Now this is with Kerbin's atmosphere. And obviously I, I would have to ask myself, um, is that going to be the same for uh, Eve's atmosphere? Um, Eve's atmosphere may well be a lot more vicious this thing, than this. But my ablator is doing reasonably well still here. So, um, what I'm hoping is that I will run out of fire before I run out of atmosphere. And I'll have the opportunity to actually test uh, deploying the, the parachutes and the um, decoupler. A lot of fire, but not, not much of later. We're doing fine on our later, actually. I'm waiting for that, that sight sound where you can, you can tell you're slightly coming out of um, the hideous speed. Um, heat is still fine. Heat is still absolutely fine. So at least this, this setup in, in Kerbin atmosphere works pretty well. It might be idea to test it in a simulation of Eve's atmosphere, which I can do obviously, by just by doing the same thing I just did only around Eve. I'm not actually running out of, uh, out of atmosphere. It looks, the, the ground looks very close. But I still am 21 kilometers up. I'm still okay. Uh, going max, 4.6. Now we're four and a half. So four and a half times the speed of sound. And I'm not doing an atmosphere analysis right now, no thanks. So we're coming down, we'll soon we'll be under a thousand miles an hour, a thousand meters a second. Which is only two thousand miles an hour, give or take, which is um, not bad. I'm still not running out of, out of atmosphere, I have to keep reminding myself. The ground does look quite close, but still, we are in fact okay. I think I heard just the slightest lessening of the horrible noises. Yep, the, the red is beginning to drain out.
So as to when I would I would when I would want to deploy the fairing, I suspect it's when the sh this shock indicator effect goes away. That would be safest. Um, still got a fair amount of atm atmosphere to go, so I'm alright there. Um, under Mac 2, so probably when I get to Mac 1 is when I want to go. Um, I mean, there is the thing that Eve's atmosphere is going to be a lot thicker, which means that parachutes are going to be more useful and various other things. So. Okie dokie. So get rid of the fairing. Ask the parachutes, how are you feeling? Safe to deploy. So, I lose my heat shield. All right, that actually seems to work. Now, um, let's speed up a bit. And we're going to go to 1,000 meters. So now I could, in fact, do atmosphere analysis and stuff. I'm probably going to revert this because, as opposed to um, saving this, uh, 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 as instead of recovering the vessel, so I shouldn't have even bothered doing that, uh, because obviously I didn't actually put this in that atmosphere. Where did that hit? I don't know. Um, do 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 do. Go faster a bit more. So the next question is, um, how good are these parachutes at this um, distance? Is that my shadow down there? I think that is. That must be the bit that exploded. Yeah. Uh, four meters a second, that's pretty good. So. That'll be the, hit, the, re the remains of the heat shield exploding. Okay, I think that this looks like it's going to be a reasonably successful test. I'm just going to quickly check something. Can I revert the flight? I can. Uh, I'll wait till I get actually on the ground. Uh, yeah, I'll wait, till I actually get, I'll wait till I get actually on the ground and then I'll think about reverting it. Um, yeah, okay. So you can't do this kind of thing on like on Duna because Duna's atmosphere is enough to be to, to cause you problems but not enough for the parachutes to really help you but Eve is the opposite way around um, Eve has a a really really thick atmosphere um, and thus um, I should be able to parachute just fine and dandy There you go, a few more meters. Now I don't, yeah, how top heavy is this thing? Because I don't know if it's going to be able to... There we go. Oh, I'm turning, which way? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm turned around. I'm actually pointing this way, which is fine. So this is quite top heavy because I've got um, a materials bay on it. Wait. So this could be a problem. Because I'm actually trying to point forwards as much as I can. And uh, I'm just zooming down the slope with no real control. And I have a horrible feeling if I just chuck the brakes on, I'm going to flip. Right, I 
think it might be safe to put some brakes on. Whoa, no. Uh, see, it's a very top heavy thing, so I may, I may have to have a think about whether I want to want to um, make either a self riding mechanism or just make it less liable to tipping. But anyway, that's a successful test of the deployment, at least in Kerbin's atmosphere, at least in the simulation of Kerbin's atmosphere. And how do we know it's a simulation? Because I'm reverting. That's how we know. Uh, so there you go. So that at least is going to be a way of getting that thing onto the onto Eve's surface. That should work. Um, I quite I wanted to do a, like a, a um, not discovery. I can't remember the the name of the the big Mars mission that, that's on on Mars right now, and I've forgotten I've forgotten the name of it. Where it came down and then it was on a on a it came down on a sort of thing that let go and then it crawled out. But um, I'm not going to be doing that. So there you go. That's a successful launch. A successful test of that. So there you go, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed these videos. Come join Neil on Dust and NeilDust.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter, so find us there. And until next time, reach to the stars.